welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vince XO coming to you with another video. And today I'm going to be doing this look right here. It's a little bit of a soft girl glam, soft aesthetic glam look. I don't know, it's soft girl and I love it and I hope you guys do too. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Don't mind my eyebrows, just don't, okay? <laughs> I am going to start off with my eyes for this soft glam scissor-esque makeup look okay so I'm gonna start off with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer as per usual I'm gonna use my Patricia Bright palette and I'm going to go into right here to blend that I'm gonna start off with ginger from the Jackie Ina palette Alright, so this is how the eyes are looking. I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. And we're gonna move on to eyeliner and lashes because, yeah, I, I, I wanna keep it very basic, okay? And I feel like the orange by itself will look really cute for a soft glam look. Okay, so lashes are on. We're gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. And then we're gonna go into my NARS foundation then I'm going to go in with my ColourPop foundation stick this one is in the color deep dark 210C We gotta blend it out a little bit. And I've been using these milk brushes and they are actually bomb. It's like the Milk Sephora collection brushes. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is my favorite. Even though I should just mix it up, you know, but I'm not. Now we're gonna set and I'm mixing my Satcha Buttercup with my Derma Blend Powder. I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's old, it's raggedy, it's dusty, it needs to be replaced, but I'm gonna go into that middle shade right there on the top and do a little contouring well it's more like a bronze not a contour at this point point. and then to dust everything off and blend everything to make it all uniform and together i'm going to go into my max fix it powder in nw45 and basically dust off the excess setting powder as well as blend everything together I'm gonna use my Easy Bake setting spray from Beauty Bakery. I feel like the bottom lash line is gonna be pretty simple, to be honest, because I'm just gonna be adding orange. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Eye Glide On Pencil in the color Demolition. I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in to my Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Color Stick. This is in the color Metallic Taupe. I hope my hands weren't ashy this whole freaking time. That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah I didn't even say anything to me. I'm gonna go into highlighting. I'm using the one and only Fenty Beauty Highlighter. And this is in Mean, Mo mean Money and Hustler Baby. I always take Hustler Baby. I completely forgot about one of the most important parts. We gotta do freckles, guys. Um, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, throwing it back back 
all right? So my LA Girl Pro Concealer is like the perfect consistency for creating my fake moles. And I like to use the color Dark Cocoa. And then an easy way to do this is to use a bobby pin. I don't have no bobby pins right now. Okay, so I found this nail thingamabobber. Yes, it's actually perfect for this. So, but if you have a bobby pin, much safer and so much easier to use. And now proceed to add a lot of blush. We're gonna take this blush right here. Wow, I look ghetto using it like that. But I'm taking this really, really bright blush. It's called Seduction. I'm pretty sure this is either from Makeup Revolution, Makeup Forever. This is probably from Makeup Forever or NARS. I wanna say Makeup Forever, cause they have like the pans and stuff. Then we're gonna take a glossy gloss, and if it's not in this tube, it ain't gonna work out. It has to be in this type of tube. It has to be, it has to be in these kinds of tubes. Okay, I didn't make the rules. Everyone knows this. Okay, okay, okay. My face is done, but my hair is not. We were not leaving my hair like this. We're not, I refuse, I refuse. I totally want to add some white dots and I got this from Aaliyah's face. Ugh, I love her so much. <laughs> but I'm going to add her white dots on my face. Yeah, this is basically the finished look of this look. This finished look of this look. What? How do you guys like it? Does it look cute? Am I adorable? I feel like I look so adorable right now. But yeah, I really like how this look turned out. I hope you guys did too. Please leave me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and you saw what you liked. Also, also, also make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's going to be down in this corner right here. Join my little familiar. Get a little familiar with me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.